All right, good stuff. So in this video, we're going to find the gradient of little g, okay, at the point 12 comma 0. So solution, SOL means in solution. So the gradient vector is a vector of partial derivatives. So the first component is the partial with respect to x, and the second component is the partial with respect to y. All right, so now we just compute the partials. Now, we got to be careful here. Uh, we're taking the partial with respect to x here. So here we do have to use the product rule, no joke. So let me think of this is the first and this is the second. So the derivative of the first factor is 6 times the second plus the first factor, so 6x, times the derivative of this. Now, when you're taking the derivative of e to the x, it's just e to the x. So here it's e to the y over x. Then you have to multiply by the derivative of the inside. So how do you do that? Let me come up here and do it. You want to think of y over x as y times 1 over x. And you're taking the derivative with respect to x. So y is a constant. So the derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared. Pretty easy to show that. And then so here you'll just get negative y over x squared. Uh, so if you don't know why the derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared, you can work it out. But at some point, you will get sick of it and you'll memorize it. Um, you can write it like this and then just use the power rule so you get negative x and negative 2 when you differentiate it. So differentiate and you get that. So again, the derivative of the first is 6 times the second plus the first times the derivative of this piece here. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. And then here we use the chain rule multiplying by the derivative of y over x. We thought about this way. The derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared. So we're going to put that. The next one should be easier. So now we're taking the partial with respect to y. Um, 6x, that's a constant now. So we don't have to use the product rule. So we're just taking the derivative here. So that hangs out. We get this. And then chain rule the derivative of the inside. So now we have y times 1 over x. But we're taking the derivative of the inside, and it's with respect to y. So 1 over x is a constant now. So in this case, the derivative of y is 1, so you just get 1 over x. A lot harder than expected. I haven't done this problem before. All right, so now uh, we have to plug in the numbers, right? So 12 comma 0, let's see what we get. should be interesting. So let's see, so x is 12 and y is 0. So let's see. So y is 0 and x is 12. So I'm going I'm to write that down. So x is 12 and y is 0. OK, so, so this is going to be 6 times, and then y is 0, so e to the 0 is 1, so 1, plus, and then 6 times 12, so 6 times 12, and e to the 0, because y is 0, so e to the 0 is 1. Oh, but y is 0, so boom, 0. Okay, so that's going to go away, I didn't even see that. And then over here, we have uh, x is 12, so 6 times 12, and then e to the 0 is 1, and times 1 over 12. All right, 6 times 12, 1 over, the 12's cancel. So here we get, it looks like all of this is 0, so we just get 6. And then here we just get, uh, wow, it looks like we get 6 again. So 6 comma 6. So what is this? Well, this is a vector, right? And this is a function of two variables. And this says that um, at the point 12 comma 0, this function, little g, increases most rapidly if it travels in the direction of this vector. So that's what it means. I hope that made sense.